How are your anger issues going? <sighs> he makes my feet like Heinz feet and sets me on my high places. He trains my hands for battle so that my arms can bend a bow of bronze. 2 Samuel 22, 34 through 35. Don't let go. All right, enough stretching and time for the workout part. What? Welcome to the Jordan Michael Tuesday Show. I've just taken up personal training. I thought this was the workout part. No way, those are just stretches. Now let me see five chin-ups right now. Oh yeah, sure, fine. I'll get you a TV where someone's doing some of those and you can watch them. You do them. No way. Who do you think I am, anyhow? Besides, why five? I'd just be doing the same thing over and over. Once I've done one, I've conquered it and I'm on to the next thing. Barry, why are you doing this? <laughs> because I want to get in shape. It might feel like you're just doing it over and over again, but with every chin-up, you get stronger and stronger. And just think, Barry, you might finally get that blue ribbon at those races. Oh, man. The blue ribbon at the county fair. I could see it now. And the winner of the Throw the Really, Really Big Pumpkin Really, Really Far contest goes to Barry! So keep the goal in mind and start training. You got it. You know, God trains us too, for the things we need to do ahead. Have you ever seen someone try to do something that they weren't trained to do? Yes. It kind of reminds me of Bob, the guy who tried to be a pastor but wasn't ready for it yet. Has anybody seen three sheets of paper? They're about this big. Looks like a sermon. As you all know, next week is Pastor Appreciation Day. and I'm registered at Walmart, Toys R Us. Guitar Center. Oh, Guitar Center. I am registered at Guitar Center and I know you got money. Hey, Lambert! Hey, Pastor! How are your anger issues going? And uh, we have our prayer request cards and you can fill those out and uh, we read them and some of these prayer requests we get are just hilarious. Some not so much. But if you could put it in a funny way, we, we do enjoy reading them more. And if you all could turn over to the Psalms. The Psalm 32. Oh, Billy, I'm so sorry about your dog dying. Well, he's not dead yet. Well, yeah. Well, I'm sorry really, really soon then. And if you guys could take out your brochures or pamphlets or whatever, you'll see a Chinese takeout menu. Oh, okay. I printed the wrong thing again. And I see you there all while I'm preaching, looking at your watches, saying, when's this gonna end? Well, I'm with you! I'm hungry! I want lunch! I want Chinese! So what about you? Is your prayer life like two-day-old sesame seed chicken? Stale? Cold? Old? Full of MSG? Or is it really good? Hot? Spicy? With a side of rice? And an egg roll? Dip in your wonton soup? I just want a relationship with my daughter. Whatever. But but what am I supposed to do when she won't communicate with me? <clears throat> I don't know, just let me Google it here. Have you guys ever heard of Focus on the Family? Do they talk about this? Maybe, I don't know. They got a three-story slide coming out of their building there. Oh, oh, this is good, right here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just say 15% on my car insurance. Can we go now? Yeah, right. In Joshua 17, 15, it says, go up to the forest and clear a place. Now the Greek word for clear here is something in Greek that I don't really know about. I don't know Greek, <laughs> neither do you. But the pig Latin word is ear clay. One away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord to the cattle are lowing. Is this making sense to anybody else? Oh, you're supposed to skip lines. All right, let's try it from the top. And as the music begins to play, uh, the ushers could come forward. Oh, you didn't say mother may I? Get back to your seats! Have you ever heard about soldiers in training? who will have to move a pile of dirt just to move it back over to the same spot. It's not really about the dirt, 
It's about training the soldiers physically and mentally. That would make me so mad. Sometimes we go through things spiritually that we may feel we've already gone through, and we wonder why we're doing it again. But God trains his children, and with every training, he's strengthening us a little more to make us ready for what he's called us to do. God is always working with great purpose, and nothing he does is wasted, even if it seems mundane. Oh, a little mundane right now, really at the spot. We just need to trust God and submit to him. <laughs> I got one, dude. My Great. One, dude. Now do four more. <laughs> four more. Four more. Yep, that's my joke right there. That's a good one. You should be committed. Think about the pumpkin throwing contest. Oh, the pumpkins, the pumpkins, the pumpkins. <laughs> Jordan Michael Tuesday Show. Oh man. But you know, you should subscribe to the Jordan Michael Tuesday Show. Leave a comment, send us an email, tell us what you think of the show. You know, you have got us on an impossible training program. That's what. Uh, you training him too? Yeah, he started yesterday.